Okay, I'll take it. <laughs>
All my thoughts are that I wish I had more time to practice instead of practicing as performance. <laughs> but that said, as soon as I played it, yeah. the responsiveness, yeah. the evenness of the tone, yeah. the, the capacity to voice, I was really, I was amazed. Yeah. It is the best Yamaha instrument I've ever played. It's an incredible. I say that thing. honestly. Yeah. It, it is truly the best. I, in fact, I'd rather be playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, I wanted to close off by letting you have an opportunity to, to help other folks know what makes, now you are part of what makes Eastern so special as a musician, but there are, of course, many other fields that the university and other courses of study that the university offers. Can you share a little bit about what makes the university as a whole something so compelling for students to consider? Thank you. Well, first of all, I believe in what is going on at Eastern University. We are designed around faith, mm -hmm. reason, and justice. And one flows from the other. Mm -hmm. And it's a comprehensive Christian university from the undergraduate through to doctoral de degrees. Uh, we're in multiple campuses in Philly, Harrisburg, St. David's main campus, online presence, and to see, I think if you would interview anyone here, what they would say would be Eastern emphasizes relationships. Because it's not simply the content of what we know, but it's how we understand content in our accountability to make the world a better place mm -hmm. and to lift one another up. You know, as you know, the arts can be extremely competitive. Yeah. And one of the delights is that when it's not, it builds up everyone. No matter what level of music making, we can all grow. And the same thing, I think, happens in communities where people, certain expertise, certain areas of emphasis, but when we come together, instead of it being uh, in some way competitive, it's complementary. And there's an enthusiasm about that. So we're committed to making each person what that person is to be in partnership with them as we discover together. It sounds so much like great chamber music the way you're structuring this. I wanted to just maybe close up one more. I keep saying I want to close <laughs> up, but you, the way you're, I, I just enjoy speaking with you so much. In a day and age when so many institutions of higher learning are cutting the arts across the board and, 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 and not appreciating the value that they bring, I wonder if you could speak a little bit to that, yeah. why the arts are so necessary yeah. to not only education, but to us as whole people, as spiritual people. Right. Well, particularly in, in a community like this, where the arts are not about getting somewhere. Yes. You know, there's not an agenda for the arts other than for the communal discovery of the thrill of creating something beautiful together. Mm -hmm. And so those that hope to become professionals, there's the leadership role, there's the modeling role, there's the accountability of how does your talent serve others. For those that just want to learn what it's like to sing in a choir or play in a band or, or be on a stage, you know, there's the discovery of risk. How do I take risk and manage risk? That's a huge part of today. And if we can get the courage to take a risk, even if not fully informed, that's a life skill. Ron, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to spend some time with us and to enjoy this piano. Congratulations on becoming the Thank president you. of Eastern University. My pleasure. I'm going to start playing right now. You can turn off whatever you want. <laughs>